Have you ever used the pen tool? Have you ever found it? Oh, so frustrating. Like, my God. Well, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use this tool effectively so you never ever have to be frustrated again and you could pen tool anything happily ever after because there's a lot of things that will trip you up with this tool. And over the next 10 minutes, you're going to see this happen to me plenty, but I'm also going to teach you how to get around these issues. Will you stop shaking? Then stop wobbling the desk, mate. And we're going to be pen tooling a banana straight from the wall of another creator, Daniel Schiffer. So let's open up Illustrator and get started. Rightio, so I've started by creating a new document and I'm going to paste in a picture of Daniel. There we go. We have the banana over there as well. Let's go and mask this off clipping mask make let's make that banana nice and big and then we'll lock that fantastic so we have the banana now it's time to grab the pen tool everybody's favorite 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 can't speak okay so we've got the pen tool let's zoom in nice and close and this is where everything can go wrong for many people myself included so let's click and drag to draw our first line you can see i'm trying to keep the path down the center you go oh oh hang on Oh, uh, that's, that's not too bad. That's not, uh, oh dear, okay, okay. So you can see it wants to continue this path now. Uh, that's not what I want. So what I'm gonna do is click and it will cut that point and then I can follow this up with my own path. If it looks like this, it's because you have a white fill. So let's go and, oh, oh no. We'll click on this, set that to none and then we'll pick a color for the stroke, maybe a pink. And then we'll go and thicken this up just so we can see what we're doing. And you can see I've got a wonky curve there already. It's it's not a great start, really, Dan. It's, it's not great, but it can only get better from here. So let's carry on because there is a way to fix that and I will show you. Okay, so there we go. We have our first line. It's pretty terrible, actually. But what we can do is go over here, grab this lovely little tool called the Smooth Tool. Why it deselects everything when I pick that tool, I don't know why. So let's grab the smooth tool and we'll just click and drag. We don't need to be too precise with this. Just keep going over and over. In fact, we could just go over the entire thing because it's it's not really great, is it? So there we go. We have a pretty smooth curve and we fixed that janky bit at the top. Now, this next bit is going to be a little bit harder. So let's click over here. Nice straight line. And then we've got this bit here. Now, one of the big challenges here is going to be the width, getting that consistent. So it wants to follow that curve. This isn't too bad. Now this next bit is doing these little kind of end caps, but doing it manually. You can see, you can see I've balled that up already. That, that's awful, but we'll carry on anyway, because we're, I have no choice. So there we go. We're going to do something like this. Keep going around. So I'm doing this very quickly. Get those excuses in now. Move it round. Okay. Uh, oh, that's bad. That's not great. But don't worry, we'll come back to that. Basically, pen tool everything terribly and then just fix it later. Now, I'm actually going to thicken up this stroke and uh, you can see that that's, that's way too thick now. Oh, dear. Okay, we'll go a little bit thinner because we do need to have some kind of gap there. So what I can do is use the direct selection tool to actually just space that apart a little bit. And in doing this, I can actually focus on the width as well. Now you can see it's trying to snap to everything, which is really annoying. So let's go to view and down to smart guides. We'll turn those off. I can freely move this around now. So you can see because my pen tooling uh, it wasn't great, let's, let's be honest here. I can use the smooth tool to smooth out those curves and then I can use the direct selection tool to adjust everything, making it look like I know what the hell I'm doing. Right, yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. We'll leave it there for now. We'll come back to it, maybe. Now I can click on this individual point, select the control point there, that little corner widget, and then I can manually curve that a little bit just to give that a little bit of curvature. What else have we got? Oh yeah, this bit down here. Let's give the smooth tool a go. You can overuse this tool. So you can see the problem here. I'm trying to smooth it out, but I made the corner much too square to begin with. So let's undo that. I'm going to have to do the direct selection tool here to try and fix this. I hope I can fix this. Please don't be terrible. Oh no, you can, oh, it's, it's moving everything now. Okay, it's all right, calm down. Let's not panic. Maybe move this one out. There we go. So oftentimes it's just a case of finding the right anchor point and knowing which one to move to kind of get the desired shape. So that's a little bit more rounded now. That's it, Dan. Make it sound like you know what you're doing. And we'll move this over here. Try and smooth. The oh God, that's changing that one. Now, what I could do is I could delete these anchor points here. I've balls this one up as well. Grab the pen tool again. 
in one smooth curve. Just have another go at it, basically. Not too bad. I'll take that. That's an improvement. Now, what I can also do is select the, uh, what's it called? Path stroke, the lines, the banana lines. And I can round off those caps with this option here. It just rounds those ends and looks quite nice. Oh no, I think I, I think I undid that. Okay, <laughs> let's just, let's round that off again. Oh, this is awful. Okay, so there we go. It's, uh, it's taken a while, but we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. Back to the pen tool. And we're gonna drag this out. Oh no, yeah, you can see I've, I've, I've messed that one up already. So that first kind of point, you need to try and get that one right because if you overshoot it a little bit, then it's gonna force you along a path, no pun intended, that uh, isn't gonna kind of curve particularly nicely. I may have just done it there. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is cut this one again and I'll follow up with my own curve. Cutting it on sharp corners is usually a good idea. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I get it right, which may take a while. Okay, we'll go with that for now. We'll go with that for now. We'll come back to it and we'll fix it later. So these very sharp angles are much easier to do by just cutting the path and defining your own curves. Oh, this last bit, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. But the good thing is, if you are having a crack at this, it's excellent practice for your pen tooling skills. So you can see, oh, actually, that could work. Yeah, maybe we'll go with that. Follow the curve round. There we go. Nope, I'm going to cut that one draw my own and again we've got another cutely sharp angle that's pretty good I like that and there we go so again another little detail just try and make this width as consistent as possible so I'm just gonna jiggle this around a little bit to smooth out that path I want to smooth out that point there as well that's just a little bit too harsh it will smooth this out this one was a little bit too long now I could just move this but if you don't want to move it and have that upset your curves and everything. What you can do is grab the scissor tool, use that to make a cut. It adds another point on the on the uh, path, that's the word. And then I can just delete that very end one. I don't know what this is. Oh, and it's gone, Never mind. And uh, that's one way you can shorten a path. And you can see that that width is, uh, is pretty consistent. I'm happy with that. And then I can just direct selection to all these around. Oh, ooh, maybe I can get this width going as well. So you can see it's trying to move both now. Now I could cut that path and redraw it. I'm gonna have to do that because because <laughs> when I move one, it moves the other. Oh, that's going to drive me insane. Okay, let's just cut them both. And what I'll do is draw them like this. There we go. Now I can just manually move these around independently. In fact, I think there's probably a key I could have held. I think I could have held down the Alt key and it would have let me move just one side. But my brain didn't think of that. Oh, no. This is going to be a problem. But let's uh, let's try and use the smooth tool again. So we'll, we'll hey, there we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. Smooth tool to the rescue. Now let's just bend that in. There we go. I'm happy with that. That is not too bad. Okay, let's uh, round off the cap there. We can use the eyedropper tool to just copy that and it will uh, copy the rounded caps as well. In fact, the entire stroke properties. And again, this is just a little bit too long, a bit too close. I could cut this with the scissor tool, but I'm just going to move it up. And oh, that has turned out rather well. This bit here is a little bit kind of squared off. Can I do anything about that? Probably should. Probably should really, shouldn't I? Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. We will give the smooth tool a go, though. We'll see if the smooth tool can work its magic. Oh, that's an improvement. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, that's worse. Uh, there we go. I'm going to settle with that. I'm very happy with that. OK, so you can see it's bending both halves. I'll try and show you the technique I was talking about. I'm now holding Alt or Option and I can move just this one, although that is going to mess up this other one here. Nope. Let's delete them and just redraw it in its entirety. <laughs> there, there you go. go. I'm going to cut this one a bit short so I don't disrupt that curve that I've just spent way too long perfecting. As you can see, I'm a bit of a stickler for the details. And I will use the scissor tool here because I just I don't have it in me to keep perfecting these curves. Right, let's do that. Cut it short. OK, boom. There we go. Banana. Wait, no, no. We've got to do this one. Smooth tool. Come on. OK, you can see it's not curving and I've got that sharp angle. What am I going to do? I'm going to click on that corner widget and uh, oh, OK, it's not going to work. Sometimes it just won't work as you want it to. So I'm going to undo that. Uh, I'm going to delete this point and I'm just going to remake it. So we'll do it like this and hopefully let's try and round that off again. 
No, see, there's no there's no corner widget. It's not going to let me round this one off. Ooh, this is a challenge. Okay. Oh, what's going on? So let's just reconnect this and then go with the direct selection tool. So I think if you do get those really sharp, acute points, the best way, there we go, the best way around it is the direct selection tool because you can bring it up and down. And you can see the further I move it down, the pointier it gets. So I'm just gonna bring it up and help facilitate a nice smooth curve. And then I will run the smooth tool over here just to smooth that out. Oh, this tool is amazing. That is like the best tool ever. If you're terrible at the pen tool, just use the smooth tool. It's it's great. So there we go, that's, uh, that's turned out rather well. I think we'll leave it there. I could spend, oh, oh no, I've just seen another bit. One more, there we go. And you can see how that simplified the geometry as well. We went from loads of anchor points and it just got rid of them and thought, you know what? We can do this with one anchor point. Boom. That's pretty good. So if I go and unlock everything, get rid of that image behind, maybe shift it over there as a reference for now because I do need to pick colors. And if I go and, uh, and let's go over here. I've got my swatches panel. Double click a color. I'll check global, make it banana yellow, something like this. Lovely. And now the top, I could leave it pink, but I don't really want a <laughs> pink banana. Okay, make this lighter, a bit more yellow, ba 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 ba, something like that. That's pretty good. And if you do spend a bit longer on it and don't completely screw it up, well, you can get something that looks like this. So there we go, the pen tool and a banana in Adobe Illustrator. Now, if you'd like to go another step further and add a neon glow in Photoshop or Illustrator, I've got some videos here covering that. But as always, you've been fantastic. Take care and I'll see you next time.